Hey guys, this video is about CSS property filter. The filter CSS property applies graphical effects like blur or color shift to an element. So the CSS filter property provides access to effects like blur or color shifting on an element's rendering before the element is displayed on the browser. So filters are commonly used to adjust the image, a background or a border. So as you can see, there are few functions available with this filter property. So you can use these functions as a property value of this filter property. Blur, brightness, contrast, drop shadow, grayscale, U-rotate, invert, opacity, saturate, sepia and URL. Okay. So let's see with one actual example. We are not going to see much of a theory. Okay. So in HTML, let's add one view with image hrc is equal to we have one image and class is equal to logo for example. Okay, so let's see. So this is one big logo in CSS. Let's select our logo and give it as 150 pixel for example. Now we have this image. Okay, so this is SVG image. What we can do, we can give multiple filter values to change the look and feel of this SVG image. So first of all, we will see blur. So filter has property and first value, let's give blur. Apply three pixel and let's see how it looks. So let's inspect and so now you can see the blur value is 3 pixel and you can see the effect. This logo is blurred. Okay. So you can change the value to 0. That is no blur. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's completely blurred. Right. So this is how you can use filter property with blur. Similarly, you can use grayscale and value as 1. So now this image is in grayscale color and similarly you can give uh, saturate and let's give value 2.3 for example okay so this is the value saturate with decimal numbers 2.3 or you can give 2 or 4 whatever suits your requirement also you can give fil filter none remove all the filters which is given above so as i explained there are number of functions available as a value of this filter property you can also use multiple functions like uh, let me show you you can um, use blur as uh, 20 pixel so uh, the first property value is blur and second you can give grayscale as 20 percent so let's see how it looks with multiple values so now you can see we have blur 20 pixel and grayscale is 20 percent so let me decrease this value so we can see the difference so now this is grayscale 20 percent okay we can change that value as we want so there are many other functions available like uh, to use the css filter property you specify a value for uh, one of these function which we can see on this screen okay uh, so if value is invalid the function returns none okay so you need to make sure that you are passing valid values as this function parameters okay so uh, first value uh, we saw that blur to blur the image also uh, you can see uh, the brightness so let me change the value filter brightness and in brightness you can uh, give value in percentage let's say 200 uh, percent and let's see how it looks let it get reload so now you can see it's completely uh, so you can see the brightness of this image is increased 200 percent right let me change it let me decrease so brightness will be decreased 
okay so in practical you don't give this much of uh, larger value as uh, brightness but this is an example okay so uh, similarly you can also give contrast so you can see that 0 0.5 0 0.8 0 0.1 2 0.3 so it depends on how actually you are looking for uh, the change the way uh, it works with the multiple filter values okay so this is contrast also you can give drop shadow so you can see we have multiple uh, values with drop shadow you can give shadow value as any color so you can see this shadow around this image also increase this value top bottom okay so it depends how you want that so drop shadow grayscale we already uh, we already uh, saw that one and it is between zero and one okay so one is completely gray and zero is no grayscale also there is uh, another value that you rotate so now you can see uh, the, the possible value is in degrees so when you change the values it will change the look and feel for this value okay also you can use invert so invert will uh, change the inversion you can also pass it in 0 0.5 0 0.1 0 0.2 so whatever value it suits you you can use that opacity is one of the uh, very useful property value you can use with filter so default property will be one right and you if you want to uh, decrease the opacity based on your requirement you can change it to 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.7 or 6 it depends okay also you can uh, change the saturate value so default value will be one and when you change the value to 0 0.6 it will saturate this image sepia is also one effect that you you can use but it is uh, not that much of uh, using your web or uh, mobile applications but yeah those values are available and also you can use url and pass uh, the value you can override uh, the image uh, based on your uh, input and that will replace or override this filter value okay so these are uh, the basic examples that you can use with filter property so also uh, you can use animation so the filters are any anim uh, animatable and it can open uh, very uh, very uh, big possibilities to work with images specifically sv images right so uh, you can animate your images based on this filter property okay so uh, this was uh, the very quick overview with simple example for filter css property uh, one demo i found on the internet and uh, that is on codepen.io you can see we have this uh, multiple images and you can choose or select any images among this and uh, once you select this image you can apply multiple css on this image so now the default value of blur is zero once you change the value, increase the blur value, it will blur this image. Similarly, you can increase or decrease the brightness of this image and contrast, grayscale, you rotate. So whatever value are possible with filter, those are available here. So invert, right? So you, what you can do, you can um, replace your image here and try to change this value. And once you finalize this value, and uh, you decide that this is correct for me you can simply copy this value from uh, uh, this page and use as per your requirement so there are uh, many other possible values like uh, you can change the filter to url so as i explained you can pass the value of this color the url okay uh, you can set the preset value as well and this is CSS code for this specific applied filter property. You can copy this and use it in your 
CSS code. Okay, so I will add this link in uh, this video's description so you can have a look and use it whenever required. Okay, so this is all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content and hit the notification bell icon so you never miss an update. Also, leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this video. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.